بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سید عاکف شاہ لیکچرر فائنانس ایٹ انسٹیٹیوٹ آف بزنس اسٹڈیز کوہاٹ یونیورسٹی آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی دی ٹائٹل آف دس کورس از پرنسپلز آف اکاؤنٹنگ اینڈ دا کورس کوڈ فار دس سبجیکٹ از بی ایس 161 دس از لیکچر نمبر 15 اینڈ دا ٹاپک فار ٹوڈیز ڈسکشن از analyzing economic transactions the outline of le this lecture consists of three main agenda point number first is discussion of accounting equation second analyzing economic transactions like how to record them and show the impact of such transaction in balance sheet and as well as on accounting equation last but not the least impact of economic transactions on balance sheet of a legal entity we will see an example of a legal entity where we will analyze the economic transaction shortly let us analyze some of the transactions for jj lawn care service here the legal entity for whom we are going to discuss the economic transactions are jj lawn care services or service as we have to be careful about the name of the legal entity if this is service then we have to mention in our accounting record the exact name of that legal entity let's analyze our first transaction which is on my first 2003 Jill Jones and her family invested $8000 in JJ Lawn Care Services and received 800 shares of stock why are we mentioning are saying that this is an economic transaction because this transaction is consist of a particular amount of currency or in other way around we can say that the the monetary principle or a specific unit of currency has been used for purchasing the shares or stock of the jill john company therefore such transaction involving the monetary unit or a currency is known as an economic transaction now let's analyze the impact of this economic transaction on the accounting equation or the financial statement which is named as balance sheet over here so the proper gap principle as previously explained in the physical lectures in the classrooms we have explained the generally accounting accepted, accepted principle in detail and the basic and preliminary knowledge and theory behind these financial statements so therefore i will directly analyze the transaction and show its impact on the balance sheet or accounting equation this balance sheet which is a financial statement needs to be made at the end of the accounting cycle is totally resembling with the accounting equation which we you will see shortly in this example So the first step is to mention the legal entity's name which is JJ's Lawn Care Services uh sorry about that not services but service as a single word so JJ's Lawn Care Service the second step we have to mention the name of the financial statement which is balance sheet over here since we are analyzing these transaction with respect to its impact on the accounting equation or balance sheet so therefore we have mentioned the name of the financial statement which is balance sheet over here in the third step we have to mention the date at which this transaction will pose certain or will have a certain impact on the balance sheet so it's my first 2003 and balance sheet is a statement of financial position that tells us the financial health of any company on a specific date so therefore the date 
as explained in the physical lectures will have to be mentioned over here in the fashion like first of all you have to mention the name of the month then date day of that month which is first may and then insert a comma over here and then to mention the year of that economic transaction since this transaction is clear cut explaining that on my first 2003 jill jones and her family invested eight thousand dollar in the company's stock so therefore we have to analyze its impact on this specific date you can see that this first title line which is explaining that assets are equal to liability plus owner equity so if we bifurcate them with the help of a line we can see the accounting equation over here that assets are equal to liabilities plus owner equity so you will see a full-fledged balance sheet when we will analyze our last transaction in this example so at the left hand side you can see that this company JJ Lawn Care Service has received $8,000 of cash because Jill John and her family has invested $8,000 in this business. Therefore, the capital stock because this is a company form of business organization. Therefore, we will have to mention the capital stock under the title of owner's equity with the dollar denomination of $8,000. This dollar sign is representing a monetary principle and is explaining that this transaction has been conducted in the dollar denomination. As we don't have any other title of assets or liability over here, so therefore you can directly sum up with nothing of this 8000 and you will get the final total of $8000 at both sides. And accounting equation once again says that both side assets must be equal to liabilities plus owner equity. Let's analyze another transaction and then to show its impact on the same balance sheet. On May 2, JJ's purchased a riding lawn mover for 2500 cash. As we knew that the company has received $8,000 by selling its stock. So therefore, they have enough cash to purchase a riding lawn mover. Like in this way, you can see that a lawn mover has been purchased by the company in order to provide the lawn care services to the clients. So in the second transaction, company has purchased the riding lawn mover for providing services in order to earn the revenue. Now, what does what kind of impact this transaction will have on the balance sheet we have to change the date because now it's my two and we are analyzing this transaction or making our balance sheet on this same date therefore the company name will remain same title of the financial statement will remain same same only we have to change the date and the month will remain same as it is so we can analyze that at the left hand side company has purchased riding lawn mover worth $2,500 it means that company's total cash which was previously $8,000 will decrease by $2,500 it's pretty much clear but since it has purchased online riding lawn mover Therefore, the level of cash will decrease from $8,000 to $5,500. If we subtract $2,500 from $8,000, we will come up with $5,500 of cash. And as per the policy of this company, it is categorizing the purchase of riding lawn mower into tools and equipment because this company is going to use this tool to provide services to the clients for their lawn beauty. So one asset has been decreased which is cash in this transaction and another asset has been emerged by the same cost or same value.
therefore we we are following the historical cost principle over here because we are recording the transaction or purchase of asset on its original cost so if we sum up both of these assets we will come up with eight thousand dollar of total assets and at the right hand side the total owner equity will remain intact and as it is because this transaction has nothing to do with right hand side of the balance sheet because this transaction is only increasing one asset which is tools and equipment and decreasing the another asset let's move forward with our next transaction on my eight let us analyze this transaction that jj purchased a fifteen thousand dollar truck jj's paid two thousand down as we knew that the cash level of company in the previous transaction or on this previous date which was my two was only five thousand and five hundred dollars which it was or the company was unable to purchase the truck worth fifteen thousand dollars therefore the jj has paid two thousand dollar in down payment like in the form of cash and for the remaining they have issued a note payable now note pay payable as earlier told you in the physical classes that any title having a word payable then it is the company's liability so notes payable because the company or the jj's lawn care service will have to write a legal note with the seller of truck or the company who is selling this truck to the business for the remaining amount of thirteen thousand dollars now let's analyze what kind of impact this transaction will have on the balance sheet company name remains at it as it is name of the financial statement remains as it is now the date will have to change from may 3 to may 8 because we are making our balance sheet on this specific date so after the purchase of truck we have paid down two thousand dollars therefore the cash level which was previously five thousand five hundred dollar will reduce to three thousand and five hundred dollars because we have paid two thousand dollar of cash payment for the purchase of this truck and for the remaining amount we have signed a note payable with the seller of truck therefore the cash level because we have paid two thousand dollar in cash to the seller of truck therefore our cash level will decrease by two thousand dollar and it will come up with three thousand five hundred dollar secondly we have to mention our next asset because truck is our assets the company's asset which need to be mentioned under the umbrella of total assets title the amount of this truck is fifteen thousand dollars so we have mentioned the historical cost of this truck now at the right hand side we will see another change which is we have to mention the title of liabilities and owner equity because we have signed a note with the seller of this truck and the worth of this note is thirteen thousand dollars we have signed a legal contract or a legal document with the seller of truck that we should pay out this amount later on in future so under the heading of liabilities we have to mention the notes payable because notes payable is the company's liability which needs to be paid out in future now once again we have to sum up these three assets and it will come up with twenty one thousand dollar of total assets at left hand side and at the right hand side we have to sum up liability and as well as owner equity and it has come up with twenty one thousand dollars so once again both sides are equal therefore it is called as balance sheet and as well as we can say that our accounting equation is in the balanced form since both sides assets are equal to liabilities plus owner equity now let us analyze another may 11 transaction 
on May 11, JJ purchased some repair parts for $300 on account. We can see that the JJ has not paid this $300 in the form of cash, rather on open account since there is no a title of note or signing a note with that party. So therefore, we will treat this purchase of repair and equipment on open account. Let's analyze the impact of this transaction since we have purchased some of the repair and parts and the policy of this company is to keep these repair parts under the umbrella or category of tools and equipment. Previously, our tools and equipment were, let me remove this ink. The level of tools and equipment was 2,500. And in the next transaction, we have purchased $300 of repairs and equipment. Therefore, the level of our total tools and equipment will increase by 300. Previously, the balance of tools and equipment was 2,500. After this purchase of $300 of tools and equipment, the next level of tools and equipment will increase to 2,800. And at the right hand side, we, we since we have not paid any uh, dollar in the form of cash, so therefore another liability will generate with the title of accounts payable as highlighted in red by $300. Now we have two titles with different liabilities which needs to be paid out by this company. Therefore, according to the gap principle, we have to sum up all the liabilities in order to get the total liabilities figure, which is $13,300. Once again, we have to mention the dollar sign after inserting a single line. Then we have to add up this total liability with the capital stock and the final balance for total liability and equity is $21,300. And in the left hand side, the total assets after adding up will come up with $21,300. Hence, once again, the accounting equation is balance after analyzing and showing its impact on the accounting equation. And then later on making this balance sheet on May 11, 2003. Let us analyze the next transaction, which is Jill John realized that she had purchased more repair parts than needed. Like in the previous transaction, company has purchased $300 worth of repair parts, which later on she has realized that she has purchased more than what they needed. Therefore, the very next day on May 18, let me check out. Yes, no, not in the very next day, but after a week, probably on May 18, JJ was able to sell half of the repair parts. Previously, they have purchased $300 worth of repair parts, out of which half of the repair parts they are going to sell to the ABC Lawn Care Services for $150 which is a price equal to its JJ costs, like whatever amount they have paid for purchasing repair parts. They have sold those repair and parts to ABC lawn mowers on the same price. It means nothing has realized as profit or revenue. JJ will receive this cash within 30 days. So there is another condition that the ABC lawn mover is not going to pay $150 on the spot. Rather, they are asking to pay this amount within 30 days, like they can pay in seven days, 15 days, and at maximum they have been allowed with 30 days to pay out this obligation to Jill and JJ lawn care service. Let us see. What does it has uh, impact on? What kind of impact this transaction will have on the balance sheet? So I'll not waste time on this writing the name and balance sheet. Rather, you have to focus on the next date, which is May 18. The company has purchased tools and equipment. The balance of tools and equipment previously was 
how much twenty eight hundred dollars you can see over here but out of which half of the tools and equipment worth 150 dollar has been sold out therefore the level of tools and equipment will drop down by 150 dollar if you can if you subtract 20, 150 dollar from 2800 like 2800 minus 150 dollar because we have sold out this equipment to abc lawn mover the remaining tools and equipment uh, worth $2,650 and another asset will emerge named as account receivable because we have not received this $150 in the form of cash so therefore the cash balance which was previously $3,500 will remain as it is rather another asset named as account receivable will emerge with worth of $150 as mentioned over here this transaction will have nothing to do with right hand side one asset will increase and another asset will decrease let us discuss the next transaction on my 25 that what has been happened abc loans pays jj's 75 dollar they have not paid out all 150 dollar for the uh, for the for their purchase of repair equipment rather they have paid out partially as a partial settlements of its account receivable now may 25 jj lawn care service has received 75 dollar on its account receivable so we can see that previously the balance of account receivable was 150 dollar which needs to be paid out by ABC Lawn Care Service. Out of this balance, the ABC Lawn Care Service has paid $75 as a partial payment because they have total 30 days of time period to pay out all this $150. Therefore, within a week, the ABC Lawn Care Service in order to enhance its credit worthiness and its uh, reliability and trust to develop with the business transaction with JJ Lawn Care Service, they have paid partly or in partial payment for their dues. So previously, the account receivable balance was 150, out of which 75 dollar has been paid out by ABC Lawn Care Service. Therefore, the remaining account receivable are 75. 75 dollar and the amount which has been paid by abc lawn care service will be sum up with cash balance let us check the previous cash balance on may 18 the cash balance was 3500 therefore we have to add 75 dollar in the cash balance in the next transaction because the ABC loan has paid out $75, which has been mentioned over here. So once again, one asset, which is account receivable decrease and the another asset, which is cash has been increased by $75. This transaction has nothing to do with right hand side. So after summing up all the assets, we come up with $21,300 of total assets and the balance at right hand side will remain as it is now my 28 jj pays 150 dollar of its account payable now the jj has paid it's paid out its liability the impact of this transaction on the balance sheet will be like we have to change the date it will change towards my 28 let us check out the previous balance because the JJ has paid out this liability in the form of cash. Therefore, the level of cash will decrease by how much? By $150. What was the previous balance? It was $3,575. If we subtract $150 from this balance, we will come up with $3,425. So one of our asset has been decreased 
and similarly let us check out the total liability on accounts payable the total liability on accounts payable for this company was $300 and in the very next transaction company has paid out $150 of this liability so the total liability which was previously 300 has been reduced to 150 we have done like this way 300 minus 150 dollar which has been paid out in the form of cash so therefore the remaining liability in this case is 150 dollar just sum up all the liabilities and we have total figure for our liability is 13,150 later on you have to sum up the total liability and capital stock in order to get the total figure for liabilities and owner equity therefore we can see that once again left hand side is equal to the right hand sides and accounting equation is in the balance form let us analyze on my 25 JJ recorded lawn care services provided during May of $750 and all client paid in cash. The company has provided services to its clients and everybody has paid in cash. So therefore $750 in cash will add up. And since this is our revenue, so it will have to be recorded in the owner's equity section. The company has retained all of $750. Once again, you have to sum up all the figures in right hand side and as well as in the left hand side, the total balance will remain same for assets are equal to liability plus owner equity. So in order to provide those services to the clients, JJ purchase gasoline, definitely the lawn mover will use or consume the gasoline which in our Pakistan or in subcontinent in India Bangladesh we normally call this gasoline as petrol purchase gasoline for lawn mover and the truck for $50 cash in order to earn $750 of lawn care services the company has used the gasoline worth $50 this is the company's expenditures so therefore all $750 what the company has received for their services from their clients is not the profit rather we have to subtract $50 of gasoline expenditure and the remaining amount will be considered as the company's retained earning or profit. You can see that the cash level has been reduced by $50 because the company has paid for the gasoline charges and our retained earning will decrease by $50 and it will have now the final retained earning or final profit shall be added in the owner's equity section. So we have to sum up the left hand side all assets as we are following the order of liquidity as well which has been cleared to you in the class in the physical classroom while we were conducting our lectures so order of liquidity has been fulfilled the total balance for asset is 21,850 and the total balance for owner liabilities and owner equity is 21,850 so once again both sides are equal and the accounting equation has been fulfilled so this was all about the analyzation analyzing the economic transactions thank you very much for listening to this lecture if you have any question related with this lecture then feel free to post them on kcms and i'll be happy to answer your question another way around you can also email me on my official email address with your queries and question and i'll be glad to answer your emails good luck for the day Allah Hafiz.